presidents and our national vice, national vice presidents. Um, and you know, you don't realize how much effort and time are put into things until you have to do something. And last year, when it was um, on the when everybody was gone in October, we did this, and um, I'm like, oh my gosh, I have a whole new appreciation for uh, you know doing something like that. If you've ever done one of the Miracle Morning calls or Road to Regions, you know you just really appreciate all the effort and time. So I just want to say thank you to everybody who's done everything before. <laughs> if I've never said it enough, because um, I appreciate it very much. Um, today is going to be um, done by a lot of our area managers, so you guys are in for a big treat. We've been talking, and it's been a lot of fun, and there's so many brilliant people here, um, and I'm so glad you get to take a peek and um, hear from them, because truly, teamwork, I really, it equals the dream work, but if you were part of any of the calling, talking that we've been doing this week, would you please stand with the area managers that are helping out today? I really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so I love this business um, because we have the power to create the life we want. Um, every single one of us, no matter who we are, you get to decide how you're going to show up for yourself, how you're going to show up for your team, and how you're going to show up for your business each and every day. And I love, I love the fact that we can start over every month. <laughs> so if last month wasn't good, or last week wasn't good, or last yesterday wasn't good, we get to start over each and every time, and we get to recommit to ourselves. Um, sometimes that's all it takes. It's just that little bit of recommitting to ourselves. And sometimes you can decide to pick yourself right back up, rise strong, and get better at the game than you were before. Um, and sometimes you realize you have something in you that you didn't even realize you had. Um, so let's get started. I'd like to take a moment and meet the guests that are in the room. So if anybody is a guest and does not have an Arbonne ID, would you kindly please stand? Do we do flowers, Carol, for guests? Yeah. Yes. Now? Thank you, Erin. We do now. <laughs> Normally we don't. <laughs> but you get one. How's that? No, kidding. Good. All right. What if you just got your membership like yesterday? I'm almost there. You get flowers. Lauren. Wait, Erin. I don't say that. Wait, she's going to know. Wait, wait. If you are a consultant new, this is your first meeting, and you've never been here before, would you please stand? We'd like to give you a Lauren, because I thought I had something, <laughs> and I'm like, I need to do that. So thank you. It was awesome. Um, okay, so welcome to the team. Uh, welcome to our team training, and I'd like you to meet the team. Um, each and every one of us starts as a consultant, just like you are. We all start at this beautiful place called a consultant, independent consultant. And if you are a consultant um, with Arbonne, an average income is usually around $600. So if you are a consultant in the room, would you please stand? We'd like to welcome you. Our first level in Arbonne is our district manager level. This is where you give yourself an 8% um, pay raise and you get you begin to earn money back on yourself. I always love the analogy somebody gave, I don't know when, when they said, you're shampooing your hair and every time that's going down the drain, you're earning that money back. And I always thought, that is so brilliant. So we can buy somebody a gift, pay for it, and then earn another 8% back on it. Tell me, do you know anywhere else where you can have that done? No. No, no. So when somebody says, you mean you get paid for it? I go, I get paid for giving you a gift right now. You do. So buy at your own mall, right? But when you're a district manager, you're getting money back. And to me, that's the place you all want to be. So that's where you want to be. That's where you want to be. So the consultants, um, district managers in the room, make anywhere from $250 to $1,500 per month. Um, I say I'm always in for that. If anybody else would like to earn that income, right? A little extra, whatever it's for. Um, We'd like to welcome you, um, district managers in the room. Would you please stand? <laughs> our second level in Arbonne is our area manager level. At this level, the average income is between a thousand and up to four thousand um, dollars. At this level, your business is willable. To me, that was so huge when I heard that. Uh, my degree is um, in marketing. I had a corporate job. When I decided to leave. I put in my two-week notice. By the time I got done telling him I was leaving, I was escorted out, right? No one ever said, hey, you know, your business is willable, or don't forget about whatever. No. <laughs> they didn't care about 
me at all. They wanted me out of their office, right? They didn't want me back in there. So to me, being able to hand down my business to my children and leave a legacy is way beyond anything I could even comprehend. It was just, I could cry thinking about that. I didn't have that in corporate. So anyway, the area managers make anywhere between um, 4,000, oh no, it's next level, 1,000 and 4,000. And at this level, um, the business is willable, but I'd love all the area managers in the room to please stand. And our fourth level of management is our coveted national vice president level. Um, at this level, of course, we're talking the... Region. Region. Oh, oh gosh. Our third level. <laughs> and our run is where I'd like to be next, or I will be next, is our regional vice president level. At this level, the average income is anywhere between four to 10000 And on top of that, this is where um, we earn an additional $800, and we um, are, have the privilege of driving our company car, which is a um, white Mercedes-Benz. And that car can, has to be white, um, but it can be any version of that Mercedes you like. But um, I'd say that's a nice little, little bonus. Yes, anybody? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Woo! Regional Vice Presidents, would you please stand? is our national vice president level. At this level, um, we're talking, of course, our gangster money. Income starts at um, 20500 $20, a month. Um, that sounds pretty gangsterish to me, I would think. Gangsterish. Um, and, and beyond. In addition, the national vice presidents earn a um, $1,000 cash bonus for their white Mercedes Benz. Um, with the national vice president in the room. <laughs> Be a lifer, don't quit. Oh my gosh, amazing things await for each one of you if you just keep on sharing and build your dreams. Do not quit, be a lifer. That's it. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna go oh. see why this isn't yeah, working. Is I got it, I got oh, it. it's working, what'd you do? <laughs> she I got the magic. She thank the magic. you, thank you, Carol. And thank you all for being here, investing in yourself and in your time. Um, and now I would like to um, get going with our announcements. And here we have the area manager, Lauren Bodell. Oh, Kaiser. Kaiser. Hi, guys. Lauren, tell me your real name. It's uh, Kaiser. <laughs> but with our event, it's Bodell Kaiser. So, so you know. See anything? Yeah. Okay, so the announcements for July are. Um, First one will be 12 and 12. Urban will no longer be enforcing the 12 and 12 maintenance for consultants, which um, that requirement states that the independent consultants must, must achieve 1,200 personal qualifying volume throughout the 12 months before their anniversary month and pay the renewal fee in order to remain as an independent consultant. They are not enforcing that. We will only have the renewal fee. Yay! Yay! This is really good for all of us who just are product users. Okay, which leads us into simplified renewal process. Every year um, at the renewal time, it gives us a chance to follow up with all our PCs and consultants. This, um, this way we can reconnect with them in our organization and offer them a free gift. So in the renewal, um, previously preferred clients received no free gift upon renewal and the renewal fee was waived when the PC accumulates the qualified annual purchase amount. Now, 
They will get to choose a free gift when ordering 150 suggested retail price upon renewal. Yay. Or renewal fee waived and free shipping earned when ordering 250 suggested retail price upon nice. renewal. Nice. So you guys get that? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah, that's really cool. Um, and for consultants, previously they would get a virtual voucher um, during the renewal month. And now they will get to choose a free gift also with ordering a 250 personal qualified volume during the renewal. That's awesome. Yeah, that's yes. Awesome. Really, really cool. Okay, so it's all in the bag July incentive. Who's going for it? Woo! Yay. Okay, so who can participate? Independent consultants globally at all levels. And what do you have to do? You have to achieve 2,500 in new and new volume and sponsor one new independent consultant with an order of 250 personal qualified volume in their start month. And then you will earn the bag. Is that what it looks like? The products are not included. It's all about the bag. It's all about the bag. That's the first thing I read. I know, it was like, yes. Okay, so. I'm going for that. I hope you all are too. Um, it's really neat because Audubon gifts us what we have to do anyways. So I would say go for it. Next, impact training, September 23rd in Chicago. Has any of you been before to an impact training? Yes, yes good, they are amazing. Um, if you have not been to one, you will want to go. I would suggest taking the train or piling in a car with all your teams and um, getting there. Randy Gage says, if it's, when, if it's in within three hours, it's considered local. So get there. These meetings build you, your knowledge, your belief, and it makes you grow into a great leader. So just make it happen. <laughs> the reduced registration is now until September 9th at $40, then the full price starting September 10th at 45. Does anyone have any questions about impact? Okay. I'm gonna introduce Joan now. Wait, the dates in which? September 23rd in Chicago Thanks. is the closest one. Okay, yeah. Sorry, I only did that yeah. Okay, now here is Joan. Thank you, Lauren. To talk about Green Bay and Intensive yeah. Arbor. Thank you, Lauren, that was very nice. If I can follow you, life is good. Okay, um, I'm actually gonna talk about uh, Green Bay, the leadership retreat. This year, actually, they're, um, Whole, they have like a theme every year, and this year it's focus. And it's, the dates are August 24th to 26th. The qualification is you have to be an area manager on or before August 1st of this year, so um, or in the past. And early bird registration is through July 14th, so that's only four more days, and that's only for 169. And then after that, it's 199 dollars until August 19th. Um, and I have to tell you, this retreat um, should be everyone's goal. is an absolute game changer in a place that you want to be. So it's absolutely amazing. They have phenomenal speakers. It's to me, I feel like it's better than GTC because it's just so um, in depth and personal. And I want to know, um, raise your hand, um, who was already registered for this year? Point stands, perfect. And who has gone in the past? Raise your hand. All right, I'm going to pick out, um, you, Carrie, tell us what you liked. Well, <laughs> everything. I like that you said it's, it's even better than GTC for those that went to me. Um, usually within the first 20 minutes, you're crying. <laughs> but just it's so the heartfelt stories from the consultants and all their journeys that have shared. Everyone takes their mask off and just really shares the, the ups and the downs. But like Carol said, you don't quit, and, and amazing things are coming. But I have gone. Um, this is how important it was. The last time I was pregnant, so two years ago, I was two or three weeks from having the baby and still went seven hours in the car. I didn't want to miss it. Wow. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and see, like some of the speakers this year, just to keep your um, your appetite, is Catherine Lutz, Valerie Gunther, our fabulous Maxine King, whoop, whoop. Uh, Deanna Osborne, and Rita Davenport. So what do you think? So you've got to get there. Okay. So the next thing I'm actually going to talk about is a little bit about my why and because of our run. 
So you've heard from me before, it's probably the same thing, so if you heard from me, you can go take a nap. But um, <laughs> for those of you who haven't, my name is Joan Lasinski, and I'm married and blessed with three kids. And I was actually introduced to Arvon with the baby line, had huge results with uh, my son's eczema and also his diaper rash. Um, and my girlfriend had asked me to try the anti-aging prior to that, and I politely turned her down three or four times um, because nothing had ever worked. Uh, my history is I'm a product junkie. I would try products, and they ended up in my bathroom sink in the graveyard, if anybody had one of those. Um, mine was totally full. And I started using the anti-aging product and loved it. A little bit about my history, I was raised on a dairy farm, and we essentially grew and raised everything that we ate. Um, a treat for us was to actually get store-bought ice cream. Um, so, and I've always had a passion for health and nutrition my whole life. I am a veteran of the United States Air Force. I was trained as a nurse. Um, trained as a nurse um, because my dad told me I'd always have a job. And I also love helping others. And I then specialized in anesthesia. And I really, and so I'm a nurse anesthetist. And I enjoy what I do. But something was always like missing. And so I started my Arbonne business and thinking I was doing a business, but actually looking back, it was more of a hobby because the back door was always open. I could go and work, you know, and you know, Arbonne was fun. I loved coming and I still do to the meetings for great camaraderie and like um, who said for five dollars you get all this love and positive attention every month. <laughs> and I really like that. Well, fast forward to 2015, I went into work, and I had my own health crisis, and I thought I was healthy. Um, but by the grace of God, I'm still here, and it's been a journey to reclaim my health, only to discover the anesthetics that I use to deliver um, to patients are adversely affecting my liver. And, um, and I remember laying in CCU, looking at the monitor, with my heart rate of 150, my, um, my blood pressure of 70 to 80, saying, God, what's my purpose? Why am I here? And it was like, Arbonne, you need to share Arbonne with more people. And I'm like, really? So, <laughs> and I have to tell you, I was really hesitant what people would think because I really care what people think about me, although you're not supposed to care. And, um, and I had to get over my ego and my pride, which is out to here, because people like seeing me come in the room. I make them, their pain go away. And I, too, feel there's a huge injustice with the skincare cosmetic industry and even the food industry, which I've thought my whole life about no toxins that they put in their products because they care more about profit than people. And that's why I really think the um, health of our kids today is in such jeopardy. And I love teaching others about safer options that they have for themselves and for their families. And because of, uh, because of Arbonne, I actually wake up wondering whose life can I improve you know, today. And because of Arbonne, I feel like I'm healthier today than I have been in the past. And because of Arbonne, I have more confidence, self-confidence. And um, through personal growth and also through positive self-talk. And I am building a team of people that are passionate about getting this health message out to others. So thank you. And I would like to turn this over to Amy. Thank you, Joan. It's always so good to hear from you. You're wonderful. Um, so I am going to talk about 30 asks in 30 days. So we want to start with our 100 person list. We've all heard about that. We hear about it from Eric Worre. So you need to start off by texting the 100 people on your list and this is what you're going to test them. Hi Rita, it's Amy. I'm reaching out because I'm in a 30 day challenge with my Arbonne team to get in front of 30 people this month for a quick 20 minute overview of Arbonne. I get it might not be a fit for you, but I'm just looking to spread the word and would love to buy you a cup of coffee if you can help me out. I'll bring you a little gift as a thank you. I know you're busy, so I'll come to you. Would you be willing to be one of my 30? If somebody's out of town, you can simply say, I'd love to jump on a video conference with you for 20 minutes. And as for the little gift, I put like a fist stick and a little mini hand cream with my card in a little baggie, a simple little ribbon. I have a couple in my bag. Really easy, not something you have to let spend a lot of time on, but just to show 
you know, your gratitude for them sitting down with you. So when they say yes, you set up a time to meet and then you share. My favorite document ever is our bond for you. I've laminated this at home, but you can put it in one of those simple plastic sleeves. Again, really simple. Um, you're gonna find out if Arban is a fit for them. And then, you know, really it's just a great way to get your business into momentum for 30 days. You can start this at any time. You can start it today and do it for the next 30 days. It doesn't have to be starting it on the first day of the month. Don't wait. And you can also do this along with your 40 faces. So we always wanna remember that as well. So that's what I have for 30 asks in 30 days. And now I'm gonna invite Joan back up to talk about one-on-ones. Okay, summer can be um, really, everybody complains, like, or they'll say, oh, it's really busy, but it's actually the best time because people are home more, their kids are home, um, or they're in sports, and sometimes they have sports all summer long. But um, grad parties, vacations, it's a great way to be out and meet people. But for those people that you call for the 30 days to ask, or, um, to ask people to host for you, and they say, oh, I'm too busy, you know, it's kind of like, don't take that as, um, uh, that they can't do anything, you can turn that over to a one-on-one -on -one and say, hey, how about you look at your calendar and we schedule um, for me to come over and um, do a one-on-one, -on -one, show you some new um, products or the new things that are out um, for right now and take care of you because if you don't take care of you, who's, who's going to? And that kind of really like goes, hmm, that's pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. But um, it's very, very effective. And plus during the one-on-ones, it's a great way to build relationships by asking them questions and finding out exactly what they want. And I have found just in my own practice of um, the one-on-ones seem to be very, very lucrative and I seem to even do better in one-on-ones than a group presentation sometimes. Um, but the other thing too is you want to um, be very timely. When you say, you know, how about if I come over for 40 minutes or for an hour? Honor their time because they're busy and when they know that you're honoring your time, that's just more respectful you know, of you. So um, take advantage of, there's all kinds of reach out methods, but the one-on-ones I find to be very, very easy, lucrative. Um, just a quick fact that I ran into uh, somebody I used to work with in the past and asked her about the healthy happy hour. She goes, oh my gosh, I'm gonna be 61 um, or something. And um, she goes, I need to do something. So I just met her after work, one hour. And because I kept looking at my clock. And um, so it's pretty amazing. Wait, John, what did you do? You did the healthy I, living? I did the healthy living. I just took over my box of nutrition and I went over your um, PowerPoint. Uh, PowerPoint and just kind of went through the whole thing and ended up from that, she, although she signed up for ASVP, she um, said, yeah, I have like five or six people I could get over. So and it started with a one-on-one -on -one wow. that'll go to a group. So thank you and I'd like to introduce Aaron. Thank you. That's way too quiet. Hi guys. Hi. I need a little bit more. Hi. 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 I'm sorry, I'm like, we need a little life in here. So I'm Aaron. It's nice Hi. to meet you guys. I'm glad to see all your smiling faces. How many of you know somebody in another country? Oh, awesome. More hands than I expected. How many of you would like a global business? How many of you have a global business? A lot of hands just went down. That's okay, that's a good thing. I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about how you can globally expand. So we have a really unique opportunity with Arbonne. We are not just here in the United States, we are in the UK, we are in Canada, we are in Poland, we are in Taiwan, we are in Australia, we are in New Zealand, and we are gonna be in Germany soon. So that's a lot of places to have a lot of business, but a lot of us get a little closed and go, I don't know anything. I don't know who to talk to about this business. We do it here probably just in our own backyard, but it's, it's bigger than that. So I wanna give you guys a little bit of challenge to open up your mind, think a little bigger. Start with the organization that you already have. So you already have maybe some consultants, whether they build a business or they just shop with a discount on your team. You probably have some preferred clients, and I'm sure you probably have a few clients that just shop at retail, although we wanna fix that. So the first is start with those consultants that you have. Maybe the consultants that are just shopping as a discount. Call them up. Yes, 
I am from the dual generation that grew up before technology and technology. So I am not afraid to pick up the phone. So if you're younger than me, yes, there are things other than just texting that you can do. And if you're older than me, you can text too. It's okay. Um, but I would encourage you to pick up the phone uh, just because it has a little bit of a personal connection. Somebody gets to hear your voice and um, be honest with them. If you haven't talked to this person in forever, tell them, you know what? I am really sorry that we haven't connected, but I would really like to connect with you now. Um, make, that, make it so that they genuinely feel that, because the first thing people will feel is when you're not genuine. I'm a big feeler. If you take those Myers-Briggs tests, I'm, I'm a feeler. So, um, but people can feel what you're emitting, right? Like you guys, I see a lot of smiling, because yeah. I smile a lot. So you guys are giving that back to me, and I appreciate that. So anyways, go, go to your consultants and say, you guys, I am really excited. I am looking to talk to some people in other countries about my business. Do you know anybody? And list the countries that we have. They may go, you know what, I don't know anybody. Um, and that's okay, but you know what? My neighbor Susie, I think, has a nephew that lives in Australia. Awesome. Would you be willing to connect me with Susie so that I can connect with Susie and maybe she can connect me to her grand or her nephew or whoever it may be? Um, I'll give you a personal example of how I did this. I have a, a very good friend of mine, one of my best friends, lives in Oklahoma City. She is a preferred client of mine, you know, purchases things periodically. I used to live in New York City with her. So I called her up one day and said, hey Jess, do you know anybody in any of these countries? She goes, yeah, I, I did a service project in Guatemala and I lived with a girl that, I think she lives in the UK and another girl that lives in Australia. I said, awesome, would you be willing to introduce me to them? Maybe just through an email introduction or a Facebook message and actually we did it through a Facebook message. She said, sure, absolutely. So she just said, hey Joanna, my friend Erin is um, expanding her big business into the UK. Would you have 20 minutes that you might be able to chat with her and she can run some things by you? Um, the girl from the UK said, absolutely, and I haven't heard a thing from the girl from Australia, which is okay, because that's gonna happen. So I then you know, am able to personally connect with this girl, Joanna, in the UK, and guess what? Joanna and I worked through the wonders of technology, and on Facebook there is actually in the messenger, the little chat box, you can actually FaceTime with somebody. So we set up a time where you can see wow. each other face to face. Oh my gosh, mind blown. <laughs> <laughs> so many cool tools and it's all free. So you can literally not have a phone number, not have an email address, not have any contact information, but Facebook for somebody and still physically connect with them overseas. So is your mind turning a little bit now? That's awesome. Going, hmm. So I had a FaceTime conversation with somebody that I have never physically met before in a different time zone, in a different country, and then I was able to send her all of Arbonne's wonderful information uh, with a sample, with all of that, all of our business information sent to her in our lovely little Arbonne folder. Arbonne does it for you. Just go on our website, you'll be able to see in your stuff, in a business kit, when you're sending to other countries, you want to actually go to that country. So if you're sending to somebody in the UK, you're actually gonna go to, it's still your website, but you're gonna go to the UK version of your website so that you can send them the right country's product and product information. So tell how much that is for that Discover Arbonne. I think it's like $7. Yeah. I sent it to the UK. I think it was a little bit more conversion wise. I think I spent $11, but to me, $11 well spent for somebody who's now I've never met before ever, would have never in a million years have connected with her on my own, and now I have a potential business about to start in the UK. Canada, this is an easy one, you guys, we are right here. It is just across the bridge. I joke, when I didn't live in Michigan, I used to joke with people that like Canada wasn't a real country to me because I could be there in 20 minutes when I'm at home. So, but really I, same thing, met somebody at a vendor event just did my normal follow-up with that person and it turned out she was Canadian and extremely interested in the business. So our little team is now building in Canada. She got her cousin involved and her mother and so, guys, it doesn't take much, right? Just one little person, you never know who you're going to meet. So my encouragement to you, start with the team that you already have because you have no idea who they know, right? Unless you ask, you have to ask. So start with your consultants, move on to your PCs. And if you want, you know, PCs are a good way to kind of bump them up too. You know, if they connect you with somebody in another country and that person happens to be really interested in the business, you know, you could be sponsoring your next national vice president, have no clue. 
and that could have been your PC's opportunity, and they'll see those things. So think bigger, think globally, and talk, talk to people. So I think I'm bringing Amy back up to give you a uh, three, two, one training. Thank you. Woo! Thank you, Amy. All right, you can't get rid of me yet. But this will be it. <laughs> this will be it for tonight. All right, so I'm gonna be talking about, oops, three, two, one. So what does three, two, one mean? Uh, it means three new reach outs, two follow ups, and one connect with a team member. Um, and I have to be honest with you guys, and I was talking to Rita about this when we were talking about tonight. I heard it, that sounds really good. But did I do it consistently? No. So I am here to tell you. You mean per day, right? Per day, yes. yes. I wasn't sitting down and doing three, two, one every single day. I wasn't. I did from time to time, but not every single day. So I decided um, on July 1st that I was going to do it every single day. So I have this little notebook that I have my 100 person list in, I have my goals written down in, and I wrote down July 1st, 2017, 321. And after I reached out to a new person, I wrote her name down. The next person, the next person, the follow up, and the team member. And so I'm doing it every single day. I encourage you guys to. For me, it was just a great way to keep myself accountable. And now I formed this habit because we learned from our road to reaching call last week. Mm -hmm. Habits are so important. Um, and so whatever works for you, it doesn't have to be this, but that worked for me. So, um, and from starting this July 1st, I set up six one-to-ones this week, four this week. I had one today, we're following up in a couple of weeks about the business, and I have another one for September, and it was just from doing this since the first. Um, and, you know, the other thing too is that not every reach out has to be about the business. It can be reaching out about hosting. You can even send somebody a Facebook message, pick up the phone like Erin was saying, we still do do that. Call them, text them, and really maybe just reconnect with somebody that you went to high school with or that you did something with, you worked with years ago, and start building those relationships because we know that's the basis of this business, right? It's building relationships. So I think this is fantastic, and I encourage you all to do 321. Hey, so, yes. How will you miss it? What? Oh, yes, thank you. Okay, so July 4th, right? It was a big day, it was a family day. I didn't do it on July 4th, but you know what? I just did more on July 5th and July 6th. And I even wrote that down. And we also had talked about, somebody had mentioned um, supercharging. So you can also supercharge your 321. You can do nine reach outs a day. You can do four follow ups a day. You can do more to move, move your business more quickly. So that's it. So thank you, and I am going to ask Erin to come back up and talk about follow-up. We just didn't want you guys to get sick of us too long. <laughs> so follow-up is gonna kind of go give you a perfect excuse to expand globally, right? So follow-up, you've, you've probably heard a million times, the fortune is in the follow-up, and this could not be any more true. Now what I don't want you to forget is, don't forget the rest of your business just to follow up. Follow up is super, super important, especially when you're having a slow month. So I'll give you kind of a personal example for me. I am in the process of moving. That is a lot to do, um, to move a whole house, move a whole family. Um, so a month where my business could take a little bit of a lull, but my business doesn't take a lull because I have made follow-up a very, very important thing in my business. A lot of times we'll focus on that new and you because we have that incentive to go for, whatever it might be. But you have clients that still exist. Think about it if, let's say you went into Lowe's and you wanted to buy a dryer and you were really, really interested in the dryer and the salesperson was like, well, you know what? I'm gonna work on some numbers with you. I'll give you a call in two days. You're like, great, cool, can't wait to hear from you. And the guy never calls you back. You're like, that sucks, right? <laughs> like I was really waiting to hear what a deal I was going to get on this dryer. He never called me back. Start thinking about your clients like that. If you have, even if you haven't said, I'm going to follow up with you. Even if you haven't said those words, pretend that you have. Seriously, because it'll, to me, it makes me anxious if I haven't done something that I told somebody I would do. I have to do it. So if I said, I'm gonna follow up with you, I'm gonna check in on you. I really, really am going to do that. That does a couple of things. One, it makes your clients really loyal to you because they know that they can trust you and they know you are a person of your word. If you have said, I'm gonna follow up with you, you're gonna follow up. How many people do you meet at a party that maybe got a salt scrub? That's it. 
<laughs> and you're like, oh, awesome, thanks for the volume. And then you never follow up with them. But that salt scrub person could have been an MVP and you just didn't know it. Because five years later, somebody else is gonna sign them up and be like, you know, I went to an Arbonne party five years ago. I just bought a salt scrub, but I'm in on this business. You never know where people are at at that moment. So I follow a system that has probably been said before. I'm sure I've heard somebody else train on it, but I say my things differently than people a lot. So think in threes. So when you have an event, if you have a client or whoever, whether it's an event or just an individual person ordering from you, the first thing you want to do is follow up three days after they've placed their order, letting them know your order's been placed or, you know, just following up, I hope you had a really good time at that party, I, you know, did you have any questions about product or whatever. It can, you can follow up for any reason, make up your own reason. The next is gonna be in three weeks when they've probably already had the product, had some time to use it. Say, hey, what are you thinking? What are your favorites? You know, What do you love about your, make sure you know what they ordered. <laughs> That's helpful. Um, so if they, if they ordered an RE9 set, how are you loving the RE9? What's your favorite? You know, things like that. And then that can lead into, you know, if you are loving that, you're really going to love X, you know. I noticed at the party you were talking about, you know, nutrition or bloating or whatever they might have, you know, segue into other things for them to try. So then after that three weeks, again, you're going to have, if they're a preferred client, you get that nice little automatic on um, purpose follow-up about two months later of, hey, they have rewards to collect. Never ever let a PC not use their rewards, right? So they have their um, either $10 or free shipping or something. Again, it's another reason and excuse that Arbonne just built in for you to follow up. This isn't something you wanna just let sit back and let go. Because nine times out of 10, your preferred clients have no idea they have rewards. They may just skip over those emails that, sent, that Arbonne automatically sends out. So don't rely on that. Give that as an excuse to follow up. Um, the next being, you know, just set your timeline. Whatever system works for you. If you do note cards in a shoebox or stapled paper, that seems like a lot of work to me. I like everything on a computer. You can see I don't use notes. I have electronics. I like those things. So Arvon is going to be giving us, for those of you that were at GTC, you know about this. Arvon is going to give us a CRM system. So it's a customer management system that we are just going to have I'm so excited, I can't wait to see how it works because this is my former professional life. I used to use a lot of things like this. But you guys, this will explode your business because it will give you a built-in reminder system of when to follow up, who to follow up with, and what to follow up with them about. And you're gonna be able to customize that for yourself. So I was snooping and asked some VPs when that's coming. I know they said at GTC around the summertime. I don't have an exact date but I'm really we hoping it's soon. Right, they don't either, I, I asked. <laughs> so um, my encouragement to you is just follow the follow-up. Always, always, always be in connection with those that are currently in your organization, that are growing, as, you, as you're growing and meeting new, follow up, follow up, follow up. Always make those touches out to your clients, to your preferred clients, to your consultants, because the more they hear from you, and don't be afraid, people, I promise you, if people really love Arbonne, you're not annoying. Does anybody ever feel like they're being annoying when they follow up? I do too sometimes. But I mean, if again, if you're if you're honest about it and genuine, nobody's gonna feel like, oh my gosh, she's so annoying. And if you are, they'll just ignore your call. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> or that text message that doesn't get replied to for like ten days. It's cool. All right, you guys, that's enough for follow up for me. And I think Rita is yeah. next. Rita's coming back. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's been awesome. Thank you. A lot of times um, we hear about our five key strategies, and I don't know if everybody knows what those are or what to focus on. And so we thought we'd do a little bit of a reminder about what those five key strategies are. And what we mean by that is kind of what you've been hearing about today, but that we should be doing diligently for our business. Um, number one being the three, two, one, which is one of our key strategies, which Amy talked about. Again, that's three new reach outs a day. New is the key word there. Make connections, be intentional about building relationships and with people you meet. And when it's new, also you guys, maybe it might be somebody that, you know, you could have met them maybe six or seven months ago and you let that time go, okay? That's new to me too. If it's been a long time since you've, I've had people on Facebook that I think, oh, gosh, I don't know when's the last time I dropped the ball. As I usually like to say, I dropped the ball. 
I'm picking the ball back up and say, I always do say, I am so sorry I dropped the ball. I apologize, you know, and I get back in the game again. That's a new contact again. So that's a new reach out. Two follow-ups, again, follow-ups with existing clients, your preferred clients, your grandfather consultants, somebody that's been in your pipeline for however long. Follow-up, truly, Rita has always told us, um, Rita Davenport, the fortunes in the follow-up. And I truly believe that's how you grow so strong in your, in your central area with follow-up. And then one, connect. Connect or reach out with a team member. Um, today, you maybe have somebody that's on your heart or that you wanna to talk to or somebody that's left the business. You know, and they're still, you know, somebody that was a, a team member of yours. Maybe you can talk to them again and get them back um, into the game. Okay, and then guess what? You repeat. <laughs> we do this again, like Carol said. We do this daily. It's not like, okay, I did that yesterday. No, we do it again and again and again. That's part of our business. And I think Max had it on one of the Road to Regions. Um, oh, gosh, I just drew one blank. Do something every day. No, yeah, but do something every day. But I forget how she had said that. Oh, somebody said on one of the meetings, do it by um, do it by noon or make yourself a goal. You know, I will get this done by X time. To me, that was a game changer because I was like, I have to do that today. I put it in my head, I will have that done by blank time. To me, that you know, however you work, but like Carol said, it's something every single day that you're reaching out like that. This business is all about relationships, and people are your most valuable asset. People are craving for attention, you guys. Nobody gives people attention anymore. Nobody is kind anymore, I swear. We're the kind people right here in the room. We, we are. There are people who are just wishing someone like you would come into their lives. And this is what you have to realize that reach out and follow up is all about. It's making that personal connection, saying they look lovely today, just whatever it is. But it's something, it's so, so much of our relationship is building relationships, continuing to develop those relationships and making that connection. Okay, so then our second key strategy, we also want to focus on our 2500, and that's the new and new building block. This focus is for every single consultant, every single month, again, no matter what, what level of management you're on, and it's bringing, this is bringing your new consultants and PCs that you personally sponsor, along with your personal orders, and your goal is 2500 QV, which consists of all your orders and those that you sponsor that month, okay, per month. And that's a consistent, so that's another strategy. 25, new and you. Third strategy is bonusing at every level. So if you're a consultant, you earn your cash bonus as a consultant. If you're a manager earning, you wanna earn at that level. And really what you wanna do, and I think Carol talked about this at, on one of the um, trainings was, for example, if you're a VP, you want to earn in your central district, your central area, and your central region. Okay, so you want to bonus at every single possible way you can. You will get paid on the highest level, but you want to bonus at one. If you're an area manager, you want to bonus at the district manager level and the area manager bonus. You'll get paid for the one, the higher bonus, but you want to bonus at all. If you're a district manager, you want that district manager bonus. Why do we want to do this, you guys? Why? It's growth. Did everybody hear Erin? No, it's growth. It's growth. <laughs> Okay, if you're not sponsoring, what's gonna happen? You're not growing. No growing. You're not growing. If we're not gonna get, if you're gonna get a district manager bonus, it could be from some people on your team, right? Mm -hmm. But do we wanna rely on everyone on our team only? No. Because no. what do we do there then? Stagnate. Stagnate, nothing, right? So if you're an area, you, can, you can't count your districts, right? So what do you think you need to, you need to be done, right? Teamwork, dream work, right? And same thing is for a region. They need, you know, that not only they're sponsoring, they want, they want to show that their team. So it's the same thing. Everything is about building your team and new, and you, new blood, right? Number four, our key strategy for our, our nation focus, or for our, our focus is sponsoring. Have an intention to sponsor. I think this was at one of the last Green Bays, and I just a, a little plug for Green Bay. Game changer, I, I, and I agree with whoever said it's better than GTC, if it was Carrie, I, I feel like, that is a game changer. Whatever you have to do, be an area manager quickly <laughs> and go with us. Um, sponsoring, have an intention to sponsor. You can't build a team if you don't sponsor. So we wanna always um, have that five sponsors, right? That we wanna sponsor. Have one of those be an independent consultant. Independent consultant and at least four other um, preferred clients. Why do we want an independent consultant? Carol? They can duplicate. Duplicate, right? 
and they, they have more options, right? They can also do what? Sponsor preferred clients. I mean, there are a lot of people who are independent consultants on my team that they have referrals. Well, guess what? Then they go under them. What are they doing for me? They're helping my team grow too, right? They're growing, I'm growing. So you want the independent consultant is so huge. And maybe they just start out as a larger discounter. I did, you know, that's fine. We want those people in our business. We really want those people in our business. Um, and then, I think, is that five? Oh, and the five one, sorry, is 40 faces. Or if you wanna do what Amy talked about, 30 and 30, but you wanna do 40 faces. These are our five key strategies. And the, five, and the 40 faces, keep that sheet with you. Does anybody keep their sheet with them? I, I keep my sheet with me all the time so that I can mark down different, um, I have an intention. I have an intention of looking for new faces. If you have that sheet with you, it looks pretty bad when all the faces on it are blank. I don't know if anybody's ever looked at that and went, hey, I got a lot of work to do, right? It's scary. It is scary, but guess what scary does? It motivates me. I don't know if it motivates any of you guys, but change is good. But keeping that in front of you, keeping these things in front of you is what's gonna help make you wanna do more and motivate you to do more. And that's what this is all about. Everything we've talked about is our, the blood, lifeblood of our business, but it's all the things that you probably already know. But these are what we wanna duplicate to our, our consultants and um, our teams. Okay, and I think I'm gonna pass on to Carol for recognition now. Ooh, recognition. Ooh, love this part. Well, I just wanna say, first of all, aren't these guys amazing? These area managers. Oh, there's so much talent in this room and giving you guys a time to shine and you're our next regional vice president and wow, I'm just in awe of what they have put together. You guys, thank you so much. They rallied, they put this together and Rita, thank you for coordinating. Awesome job. So let's hear it for these guys. That's the question. Awesome. And we're gonna do this again. We're gonna do this again. So let's, uh, I love this part to recognize all you uh, achievers in the room, you superstars. Let's, I wanna start with our top sponsoring stars because as Rita said, if we don't sponsor, we don't grow a team. This business is about growing a team. Teamwork is the dream work and that's the most fun too. And sharing about this wonderful business to people sharing the PC opportunity, preferred client opportunity for those that just want to be a wholesale shopper or a discount shopper um, and not interested in building a business and sponsoring consultants that can duplicate, meaning they can build a team and they can share with others, whether they just want to use the product at the biggest discount or whether they want to share with other people. How awesome is that? So let's honor our sponsoring stars, you guys. We have a goal. These five key sh strategies that Rita shared are our goals. Now, if you don't have a goal, it's hard to hit it. So do we every month hit every one of those? No, but we strive to, right? So sponsoring, top sponsoring stars. If you sponsored one person last month in the month of June, please stand up and we wanna recognize you. If you sponsored two people last month, stay standing. Look around, you guys. Look at this. Awesome. Three people last month, stay standing. Whoa. Four people last month, stay standing. Oh, look at the superstars. Five people last month. Oh, my gosh. Six people last month. Congratulations to you. Your team is on the move, girl. That's what it's about. Okay, those are our top sponsoring stars. So next, our manager cash bonus earners, you guys. Our bond gives us an opportunity to make additional income besides our overrides. And that's our manager cash bonus levels. And this is for every single person. Starting out as a consultant, you can earn a $100 cash bonus, a district manager $200 cash bonus, this is every single month. Area manager, VP, um, or sorry, area manager, 400 cash bonus, and VP, $600 cash bonus. So don't leave money on the table. 
So if you're in this room and you're a district manager or above, because at any level you can earn the district manager cash bonus, $200 cash bonus, how do you earn that? Your central district, so you and the people you bring in the business, does 5,000 in group volume together. You don't have to be, this isn't a business about buy yourself. You can wear yourself right out. And five new preferred clients and or consultants in the month, you sponsoring them and or your team members, and Arbonne gives you a $200 cash bonus. This is on top of your override, on top of your preferred client commissions. If you earned your $200 district manager cash bonus, please come to the front of the room and get a flower. We want to see you. Come on up here. And, and just stand here for a minute. Grab a flower and just come and stand here for a minute um, because we want to just really honor you for making it happen. This is how you build a team. Arbonne rewards you lots of cash. Woo! Come get in the line here, guys. Let's stretch out. Look at these. I just want you to get a good look at these. Anybody need extra income in this room? Would it be fun to have? Yeah. Well, here you have it. Look at these superstars. So congratulations to all of you. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, I hope somebody's getting a picture of these. I know you're Facebook live which is great. If you, anybody wants to take pictures, we'd love to have it put on the United Nations on our Facebook page. Okay, if you're an area manager in the room or above, so an area manager or vice president, and your central area does 20,000 in group volume, you and your group, and 10 new people get an ID number, as either as a PC or a consultant, not, you don't have to do it by yourself, your group, then Arbonne likes to give you, wants to give you a $400 cash bonus. So if you are a $400 cash bonus earner in the month of June, please come to the front, get your flower, and line up here so we can do it. Say how awesome you are. You want to. The idea of these flowers is for you guys to collect them and have a big bouquet. Awesome, you guys. And, and of all of you that are standing up here, how many of you also earned your district manager cash bonus? Put your flower high in the air. Awesome. Yay. Way to go. So four hundred dollars will be in your check, and you should be getting it any day. So have a seat. Thank you. We're so proud of you guys. And as a vice president in Arbonne, when your central region does 60,000 or more and 30 new people get an ID number for to be a PC and or consult with Arbonne, again, teamwork, then Arbonne sends us a $600 cash bonus. And thank you to all my amazing team because this is team effort. This business is about a team, not about how magnificent you are personally. It's about how you can help other people achieve. And I earned my VP cash bonus, so I'll take a flower. Thank you. Thank you. So those are cash bonus earners. Oh, consultants in the room. Did anybody earn their $100 cash uh, bonus as a, new cons or as a consultant in the room? We want to show everybody how they can stand up here for a moment. We want to get a look at you guys. Look at these superstars, you guys. Awesome. And you know, this is where it starts at consultant level. You did too? Get up here. She gets another flower. Congratulations. We're so proud of you guys. So do it again and again. If you earned your consultant cash bonus, you are on your way to district manager. Way to go. So we'll see you up here soon. Congratulations. Again, the vice presidents have a challenge, a competition that we're doing. So stand up vice presidents that are with us tonight. Karen has laryngitis, couldn't be here. And um, okay, so what this is, and who else? And Tammy Ray, uh, her dad's visiting, so she didn't drive down from Harbor Springs to be with us as she normally does. And Paula, I don't know if you have your percentages with you. I do, because I knew you were gonna ask. Oh, you are? <laughs> she is prepared, okay. So here's what we do. Sure I know the numbers, so. Yeah, here's the challenge. Good. When we sponsor somebody, in order for them to count in our bonuses, number one, and in order for them to get the best deal, which we are about 
helping people get the best deal for them and earn their free product. You don't want anyone to miss out on their free product, either a preferred client free, uh, free product or consultant. So when, when our new people come in with a minimum of 150 read to QV, qualifying value, they count for our bonuses. So we try to teach, if you're gonna sponsor somebody, make sure that they qualify to get their free product and that they have enough product to fall in love with. And it counts for your bonus. So when we sponsor somebody, they do a minimum 150 order, it counts, um, it counts for this challenge. If you sponsor somebody, like sometimes you'll sponsor a preferred client and they'll, they'll place a $90 order and they miss out on their free product. So we don't want that to happen for them and they also don't count your bonus. So, our challenge is that we bring everybody in with a minimum 150 order to get uh, their free product. So we have numbers. So Karen Prima Region, who she's not here, did 100%. Everybody, wow. That's awesome. Multiple, 100%. If somebody doesn't want to come in with a $150 order, don't, spot, don't as a PC, don't sponsor them. Say, hey, let's wait or let's help you get to that level where you get a free product. Okay, Carrie Lyons Region, 88%. Bodell Region, 94%. Kathy Lynn Region, 100%. So Tammy and Karen, 100 percenters, and Tammy Ray Region, 91%. So everybody's good. We just need one or two more not coming in with under $150 order. It is not in their best interest. So that's, uh, that's our competition, and those were our winners. Uh, we also like to want to recognize the Picture This Challenge winners. Last month we got to earn the Arbonne logo picture and the cups, and um, with 2,500 personal qualifying volume, which is our personal goal every month between what we order and the new people we bring in, and sponsor one new consultant with a minimum 250 order because that's when they get their free product. Picture this challenge winners, please come to the front and get your flowers and we want to see you and, and give you a big hand. <laughs> and there's a lot more. Oh yeah, there's Joan again. And, uh, <laughs> Joan again? Joan again, that's are you guys again? Name, Joan again? Yeah, Joan again. Uh, your bouquets are getting big. So look at these guys, they earned a challenge. We have a lot more people that did, but they're not here with us tonight, and Tammy did too. Did somebody get a picture of these? Oh, these? Is this a picture? Yeah. Get up Sorry, here, you ordered the picture. Stop talking and get recognized. So way to go, congratulations you guys. Now this month it's the bag, so go for the bag. Do you guys, do you realize we're with an amazing company that gives us incentives to do what we're gonna do anyway to build our dreams for ourselves and our family? I mean, how, I mean, did you, my dentist never recognized me like that for all the great work I did all those teeth I please. So anyway, so this is really fun. So, okay, now we would like to have, there's people in this room tonight that are in qualification to be a district manager area, maybe a VP. So if you're in this room and you're in qualification to be a district manager, please stand up and be recognized. We want to cheer you on. to see you up here in the next month or two and recognize you as a new district manager. Congratulations, you guys. Woohoo! Okay. And now we have a new district manager to honor tonight. Mm -hmm. We actually had two, but one couldn't be here. She works till 8 o'clock and she doesn't want us to get out of that. Lauren's new district manager, Bridget, and she is a psychologist to work till late at night, but she wants to do our butt. New district manager. You have, new district manager? Well, that's, we're gonna recognize, okay, thank you, I didn't know that. Um, so you'll be next, you're coming up here. Okay, <laughs> to honor your new DM, write yours. Okay, good. Okay, in the Bodell Nation, Bodell Region, Bodell Area, and I am your sponsor as well, so I'm everything for you, Marie Karen. <laughs> <laughs> Please come up here, we have a new district manager. <laughs> this is for you, well, 
giving you this for Queen Richard Gibbs. <laughs> She's got a story, and we want to, <laughs> don't we all? Anyway, I love you to pieces. You know I believe in you, and so proud of you. We want to hear from you. Don't you want to hear a mm -hmm. success tip? Mm -hmm. Woo -hoo! Yeah. Well, we say thir third time's the charm. This will be it. <laughs> She keeps coming on back. Woman. I told you you were smart. Um, and my success tip would be never give up. Believe in yourself. And if you don't, continue to read until you do. Give us some good books that help you. That you can, maybe you can, if you can think of them. You're reading so many. I can see the, the title of the book, but I can't. I mean, I can see the front of the book, and I can't even think of it. She, she texts me every once in a while and says, I just read this, and some profound thing that, that hit her that time. Mm -hmm. You know, some, when the student's ready, you hear it. And I think more than anything else is you detach from the results. You continue to do it no matter what your result is. And I know I've gotten frustrated many times, and Carol goes, Marie, you're doing the right thing. Just keep doing it. This business is so simple. I told myself when I started Arbon with four kids, a chaotic, crazy schedule, uh, no thinking I didn't have time to do anything, but I wanted to change my life. I told myself, Carol, because we didn't have these three, two, ones, I said, do something every day to build your Arbon business. And I did something. I would do that one thing, and it took me literally not very long, so then I did another thing. And then I might have did something with my kids, and then I said, wow, I've got five minutes, I can do another thing. So I did something consistently, not every, five days a week at least, you will be very successful. If you do those key strategies, three reach outs a day, you know, build a relationship, call somebody, tell somebody about Arbonne, do the text them and get together to do that. Is Arbonne for you? Whatever it takes to sit down with somebody, or reach out to them, that's three a day. Then follow up with two of the people that you've been dripping on, and, and one, reach out to a team member, and it could be your upline. Calling them up, that counts too, and saying, hey, I am so stuck, I don't know where to move forward. Okay, anything, so that's it. And now, Suzanne, we have another new district manager, and I'll turn it over to you, and we'll do it. Julie Glenn and she's been on my team for a while and uh, I just have to say she's such a positive bright shining star who has absolutely never given up you know I have to tell you I told Suzanne when she's like we have recognition tonight and I'm like oh my gosh I didn't even realize that I knew I got district manager again because I was for two years lost it for a year and now I just got it back in my June is was my start month so, and I told myself, I was like, I can't lose it. It's not gonna, you know, it's discouraging. But I will tell you, fortune is definitely in the follow-up. For me, it was the jump on June got me off my butt. Um, I texted all my active PCs, one of which I've known for two years, been working on her to get a party for two years. This woman hosted a party and had over 2,000 in QB. That was huge. And for me, the reality check and the light bulb went off and said, all right, anyone can do this. All it takes is one person. Don't ever give up. Awesome. Okay, hello everyone. I get to follow Carol, which is like not an easy thing to do <laughs> since she's so vibrant and everything. So I was asked by Rita to do um, product discussion, to pick a couple of things to talk about. So. I know everybody knows RE9, everybody loves that, everybody loves the genius, so I tried to fix a couple things that were not the mainstream and talk about those. And so, first of all, I just wanna say the makeup line is amazing. If you haven't used that, like I, everything in the makeup line is fabulous. I think I've had a couple of college girls do the foundation and the powder and the blood and they look, it looks so professional and polished. So I really encourage everyone to try the makeup line. 
Another thing um, that I love is the, which I'm sure a lot of you have not even tried, is the um, Herbal Muscle Massage Relieving Gel. How who's tried this? This is amazing. Uh, actually, more people than I thought. But anyways, um, I had this pulled muscle in my back, which I still actually have, and so I use this on it, and it's been amazing. I also have two boys that are athletes, and they use this. Of course, it's vegan, gluten-free, and it's, you put it on and it's got this like warming action, like you feel it working, like you know it's getting into your muscles. So it's great for, um, even if you just overexert yourself or pull a muscle like it, I mean, it's, it's an amazing product and everybody I know has used it, loves it. So I highly recommend that. Um, the other thing that I wanted to kind of talk about is my little concoction of my own. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> And um, I'm into the self-tanner, the, the tinted, because as being fair and blonde as I am, I cannot afford to be in the sun. I've already had some, some skin issues, and you know, skin cancer is a big problem out there. So I highly recommend this product for the um, tinted. But so she had her legs. Yeah, I have it. I have my concoction on now. <laughs> but anyway, see you back here. It's, um, I'll walk around and model. <laughs> But sometimes that might be too much if you don't want a lot of color. So I actually have my own concoction of the Self Tanner, the RE9 Body Hydration, and then I add the Skin Conditioning Oil and also the Body Serum. Wow. So I have four products in my little concoction. And if you don't want the Self Tanner, then don't do that and just use the others. But um, let me get my notes here. The, um, the RE9 Hydrating has um, antioxidant vitamins A, C, and E. It's got um, skin nurturing oils like avocado, sweet almond, sesame, and jojoba. I mean, those are like great things to have your skin be very um, moisturized. It also, it also has, there's cucumber in there for tone and texture. And then um, red clover flower extract. So like lots of great things. And a lot of these things you're not probably gonna tell people, oh, it's got a cucumber. It's more, <laughs> to, it's, I think it's more about what it doesn't have. It doesn't have the parabens. It doesn't have all of those horrible ingredients that we know a lot of the other things have. So I kind of, I stress that as well. Um, this actually has aloe vera and green extract tea in it. Um, or green tea extract, sorry. And then, um, the skin conditioning oil has essential and botanical oils in it. You don't need much of this at all. Um, and it also has cucumber, vitamin E in it. And then the body serum helps um, with firmness and radiance. I noticed that it's actually got a little sparkle in it. If you use a lot of it, it adds, so that would be kind of cool on your decolletage when you're you know, going out for the evening or something. So you can mix and match, put them all together, use them individually whatever you like. Do so you ratio in like when you have your concoction, what's your ratio? Yeah, what's your ratio? <sighs> like five palms, two palms. No, I'm just going with the flow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, the skin conditioning oil you don't need a lot of because it's very oily, so you don't need much. And then the body serum, I, I don't put a lot because this is pretty expensive and it is going to be gone, okay, but it's still on the website. So you can get, I, I bought like, a lot of them. No. How many? How many? I probably bought eight. <laughs> Just because it's going to be gone. And this is a really good product. Why are they? Because we don't order it enough. Right, well, I ordered it. <laughs> but anyway, so like sometimes, Rita, like in the winter, I don't put as much maybe self tanner in. Okay. Because you don't, you know, in the summer, a lot more self tanner. <laughs> yeah, Tracy. You use the body firming lotion when the junior sells out instead. Yeah. Body, yes, mm -hmm. good idea. And the, um, there was the, the body firming cream or even the nourishing oil you could put in there too. So, oh, yeah. How and, long does this tan, the tanner stay? Look at it. Well, look I put it on every day because my legs are really dry even in the summer. So I use it every day. Can you do so. a little runway walk? Yes. <laughs> yeah, check out her legs. <laughs> you gotta walk like a model. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's really nice. I, I don't I don't ever do this, so <laughs> 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 So anyway.
anyway, that's my little concoction. It's it's just a great way to mix and match stuff. So it's all about the color of gold and like compared to some of those spray tans or like Well, I think this is the best color I've ever seen. Like it gives you that sun kiss glow. Some of them look kind of orangey. But you do have to be careful and make sure you wash your hands afterwards because you'll have orange hands if you're That's not careful. Because you don't normally tan your palms. I mean, the, your palms don't tan in this regular sunlight. So using self tanner on a place like the bottoms of your feet are the same way. Yes. You're not going to accept the self tanner. Um, as an ex tanning salon say. owner, this is <laughs> absolutely the best self tanner on the market. And but if you use just this, you have to I use be, just that. I use it just on my face, but if you use it, you want to be careful with like making your even. That's why this with this, you don't have to worry about it so much because you've got a bunch of products, not just the self-tanner. And if I can just say one thing about the self-tanner, we all in Arbonne, we take care of ourselves. We exfoliate. We use sea salt scrub. We do that stuff. If you're selling this product to a normal person and they don't exfoliate, they're not going to get good application. So you really have to do them and you do yourself a favor and sell the sea salt scrub along with it. Because they have to do that first in order for this to have a good detox application. Scrub, the, right? the, the, the rest the of it is renew. Yeah, okay. yeah, actually, thank you, Kathy, for reminding me that. Because I notice when I do do that in the shower and then I put that on, it looks really good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I would exfoliate your face with the new cellular renewal mask right. for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I guess we do have time. If anybody has another product that they would like to share that they think is just so cool and awesome. Oh, I have something to add to yours. So you okay. were talking about the scrub. That is, a, that is an absolute must when you're using the tanner. So this is the new, for those of you who haven't seen the Awakened Sea Salt Scrub, it's my favorite. <laughs> it was my favorite. I absolutely love that. But this is pretty awesome too. Um, so this is what I do when I use the self tanner. Scrub literally neck down. You can um, use this when you scrub your legs. Scrub your legs really good, and then shave your legs immediately after. You don't need shaving cream. You don't need anything else. You'll be able to shave your legs just with that oil. Then post shower after I dry off. I take the firming body cream all over my legs, then I put on the self tanner, and then I apply a little bit of this. And that is the sexy summer leg and the little fingerprints oh that my you might have on the back of your legs. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it goes away. I mean, it, it, it appears less. <laughs> that's, that's, that's my little tip. Because there's oil in the scrub, so don't you have to get that off? I am telling you, oh, at, no, it, 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 it helps it everything does. apply evenly. It does, yeah. Wow. Yep. Okay. There's, there's nothing to get, get off. It would be a barrier. That detox scrub is There's amazing. nothing to get off. Yeah. I would think it would be a barrier. Okay. No. No. Oh. It's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Who else has yeah, a... Yeah, yeah. What's that? I do the FC5. It's essential oils, you guys. Come here. Come here. Come tell Yes. When I put on <laughs> Since I was 19, no, actually 16, I've been using Urban Self Tanner. Woo! Yeah. yeah. Um, I always use the FC5 scrub on my face and let, you know, exfoliate, really get it off, and then I put on my self tanner. You put the self tanner on your face. Every so is Carol day. every day. Yeah. 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 Have you seen Gordon Bodell? <laughs> 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 he does it like every day. <laughs> can't use the scrub, you know, yeah. you can just let it sit and the heat will, you know, exfoliate your face. But that's a good one. And then the detox oil in the new line, you guys. Oh. Oh. Holy cow. Oh. I'm already on yes, my yes. second bottle and I'm halfway through it. Bug spray? Oh, yes. Not been touched since April. 
either as my husband <laughs> or my kids. Your kids it's yep. safe, yep. It's I have a question. I, I have a question. Does anybody have an idea at all if that will work to keep fleas and ticks away from animals? Well, I think so because they hate all they hate essential oils. And I, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Huh? I have two horses, and there's a lady I know that has. She's used Arbon. And I spent a fortune on three different products, and they were eating up my horse. And she sprays hers with the Arbonne spray, and yeah. every time I go by, I'm his tail down. Mine's yeah. like whipping around, like. Oh. You know, Which is with my what is she spraying? Put the detox oil. The detox yes. oil. Okay, cool. Yeah. So that is amazing. Also for scars, the detox oil. If anyone has any bad scars, put that on, and then use the Ultra Genius. My husband's hand, he wouldn't he wasn't able to close it a lot and it got stiff and he got glass he fell in a glass bottle years ago. But now he complained every single day he has no more pain in his hand. And he can close it. So that's a good one too. But so the detox he oil the, uh, the I put the oil on his scar, rub it in, and I use the ultra genius. And he can okay. Yes. And then for body lotion. <laughs> <laughs> Calluses on your feet, that with the Ultra wand. You can really, I mean, little that everywhere. everywhere. You can really kind of do this anywhere. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that sounded really awful. <laughs> <laughs> we knew what you meant. We, 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 did, we did not think yeah. that way until you because said it. Because it doesn't okay? look inappropriate at all. <laughs> Maybe we should turn this off yeah. now. I'm going to turn it down, too. One more thing about the oil. If anybody um, went to the um, at GTC when we were learning about that new rescue renew line, he said take the oil because some people were disappointed about the awakened mister leaving. He said take a couple drops of that um, oil and put it in water and have that as your new mister. So that's also that that oil um, hands down the best. Um, yeah. One more thing, Carol. We forgot about. Is anybody in the room in qualification for area manager? Woo! We are so proud of you. We are so proud. Woo! Woo! Tracy, she worked hard too. So she hard. worked. She so was heavy. working to the last second. Yes. Yay! Yay, Tracy. Tracy and T. Trey, I love it. I want to make sure we got that one in. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, is anybody in qualification for region? We forgot. Oh, we have another area? Oh, no. No? We're good? Okay, go back. Is anybody in qualification for region? We didn't ask that. Okay, well, then we're good. Just, yay, Tracy. <laughs> okay, you have a question? No, I was just going to tell a little story real quick. Okay. Um, I, I know I'm new here. I'm sorry. My name's Haley. <laughs> nice to meet you, Haley. <laughs> Lauren is my, my sponsor. But, um, sorry. Don't trip. Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, I am sponsor. very classy. <laughs> um, I've been a makeup artist, professional makeup artist, for over 12 years now. I've owned my own company. I've used multiple, multiple makeup lines from Dior to um, all the really expensive ones. And I do the airbrushing, and I've done commercials, I've done film, I've done everything. And I was approached by them and talked about Arbonne, and I started thinking about Avon, Arbonne. I'm like, oh, I'm not gonna be knocking on people's doors. What's the Tupperware? But um, <laughs> all they they did basically was just give me a sample, and I, you know, I'm a cancer survivor. Um, after three years, thank you. And um, she she kept telling me, you know, you have to get your body in alkaline, and and now I feel better than ever. And um, then I was also given the kit, and in the last seven years, the only makeup I could use on my face was by my dermatologist because my face is extremely sensitive. Then I would also use Merle Norman's compact that I've used since in high school <coughs> because it's the only compact I can use. Obviously, I couldn't give that to my clients. I would use my attempt to airbrush and, you know, send them off on their way for, you know, their film or for, you know, being a bride, bridesmaid or whatever. And just that little kit in four days transformed my face. I was thinking it was gonna break out. I did the primer and you know, tried all the different serums and everything else every day. And I've never just touched my face in the shower and felt good. I would always feel a little lumps and bumps and then I pick at my face when I got out of the shower. I haven't done that in a week. Aww. And I told my daughter she had the same acne so 
that, that's what really sold me, is I was just like, everything is natural. My children, I want them to be healthy. Being a cancer survivor, I want them to be healthy. So I want to thank you, and I want to thank your mother for letting me join this team. And I love that. I love when we talk about other products. So cool. Thank you for that. And now I'd love to introduce Samantha, who's going to come and say what Arbonne has done for her, or what it means to her. Um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Samantha, and I'm an independent consultant with Arbonne District Manager, and very happy where I'm at, uh, working towards that next promotion, though, as many people in here are. I am also, however, an assistant project manager and technical designer at an architecture firm downtown. Now, I absolutely love that. It's what I've always wanted to do, and the job that I have now in the firm is what I thought my dream job would be. I have a really busy downtown lifestyle that's really fun, right? It's what I wanted to do since I was 14. Everything I've ever wanted, right? It's technically my dream job. However, my dream I'm noticing is changing. I work endless hours and I've lost a lot of touch with friends and family. And I actually don't make enough money to pay my student loan payments every month. So the amount of debt that I got in to get this dream job, the dream job doesn't pay for it. It isn't really that romantic idea that I thought I was pursuing when I was 14. Who lets a 14 year old decide what they're going to do the rest of their lives? <laughs> I know, that was just crazy. But as I've grown through Arbonne, I've realized what I actually want to do. I want to connect with people and maintain meaningful relationships. I want to have a life outside of my career. I don't want that to completely take over my life anymore. When I eventually have children, I want to be able to raise them. I want to be their mom. I want to pick my vacation days and the destination. I want to be able to have time to grow a garden full of fruits and vegetables. I want to teach yoga and share my love of nutritional care with other people. May I have your attention, please? The library will be closing at 9 o'clock. If you need a new library card, we ask that you come to the checkout desk now. All materials should be checked out before we close. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> because of Arbonne, I can see a way for these dreams to become a new reality for me. I can see a way to retire before my projected age of 67, which is when I'll retire from architecture based on that retirement plan. And I can actually connect with people and form the friendships that I want. And I already know that's possible because I've been able to meet so many wonderful people here, and I've been blessed with a lot of really close per personal relationships through my Arbonne connections. The business model I know will increase my income, and it already has. As a district manager, I've been able to make my student loan payments and ease some of that pain every month from my income and my check from my actual job. As I grow, I'm really looking forward to getting out of debt. And as I grow in Arbonne, I can't wait to escape this American income trap that's all based on the American corporate dream. And again, I decided that when I was 14. Arbonne has given me the power to make choices that will change my life. I can have more and do more. Because of Arbonne, I know I have the power to be bigger than corporate America, and that is amazing, and I don't think there's any other way I could do that. So, thank you, Arbonne. That was awesome. That was awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much. I love your passion. And you just graduated with what? Your second architecture. Uh, third degree. Third in degree. architecture. Mm -hmm. um, so it's expensive, but I can't quit. Gotta finish. I'm so close. <laughs> Everybody, um, Cindy wanted to talk about one more product that she loved real quick. And yeah, I didn't close. even, I, I apologize for keeping us, I didn't even think of it, was um, you, my little four-legged at home is my baby, as a lot of people know, and um, for years I have a little dachshund and she has long ears, and on the tips of her ears, about that high up, is always dry. It actually looks like it could just fall off. I mean, that's, I, I've never been able to fix it, and for years and years I've always put this and that and tried vitamin E oil and everything on it. 
Well, I put the new um, Detox scrub and scrubbed her little ears gently, and then I put the oil on it, and her ears are wonderful. I'm talking years I've been trying to figure it out. So that product, those products are amazing. They're amazing. Thank you. I think that is going to be about it. Um, I just want to close with a little call to action. And we will be back here in August, right? Okay. Second Monday of the night. Second Monday. Um, I want to talk a little bit about habit, just real summary. The only difference between those who have failed and those who have succeeded is in their habits. Habits, good habits are the key to all successes and bad habits are the unlocked door to failure. May I highly recommend you take one of these key strategies that you've learned about today, if not more, and make it your new habit. And even better, replace it with one that's not serving you properly. Habits and mindset, you guys, are everything. Cecilia Stoll challenged us in January of 2017 for two things. Work on your habits and work on your mindset. If you can do that, we've learned so many nuggets here today. So many. So many good habits that we can put into our daily lives. It's just a matter of you implementing them now. And then they become that habit. Just like the 30 days. I bet you everybody who starts doing that 30 day asks, they're going to love it and want to continue it because their business is going to thrive. That's a habit. The three, two, one that Amy's diligently now doing in a journal. Do you think that's going to be a habit? She's going to go, uh-oh, I missed a day. That's a habit. All these things are habits. So I'm challenging you. Get rid of the one that's not serving you. Pick one of these and make it your new habit. And we'll see you in August. So